what you mean? Ay, I like honey, nothing in between. Bad little baby, they got mad overseas. Ay, she wanna go out shopping every week. Finna go, she proud of now, she rockin' double C's. Ay, the way the back came in is like a dream. Love wants to hold that for What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video with me, QB. And today, man, I just want to make a quick video and really talk about something serious with you guys because I've seen another creator post a video on basically um, why everyone is selling their box trucks and whatnot. And if, I just want to give you my opinion. Whatever I say is my opinion. You know, I'm not going to say the other creator name or whatnot because he has some very valid points. But other points, I, I watched the video, I'm like, it's kind of iffy if you know what i'm saying so i want to really be direct with you guys you like for most of y'all who've been watching my videos for a long time y'all know i'm very truthful about what goes on in this industry and what to look out for so basically i'm just going to be very blunt in this video with you guys that are planning on jumping in the game or just starting the game like i'm going to be very blunt with you because at the end of the day we all come out here we all spend our money and this is something very serious going on with people selling a box truck or whatever basically failing out the business and whatnot and i'm just going to lay it out for you guys all right so you're going to start here at at basically everyone who gets in here is not going to succeed a lot of people are going to fail and it's just and that's just facts a lot of people are going to fail and it's not being rude or anything like that but it's going to happen no business on this earth has a hundred percent success rate when people join it it's impossible if everyone's succeeding there's going to be an issue there has to be a balance where people join and succeed and people fail a lot of people is going to fail more than you can see i mean a lot of people are going to fail more than they succeed and that's just life in general so when you come out here, you have to have it in mind. Don't think you're going to fail, but just have it in the back of mind that a lot of people fail their business, right? That's the one. That's just the beginning of it. Next point, um, basically, um, you people get in this game, and like, yeah, we call it a game, but this is serious. Like, people get in the game, and they, they don't have no hustle in them. They don't have no hustle in them. So when they jump in. You know, they, they nonchalant, they don't really want to work this day or that day, they don't really want to do no loads. You're, you're not going to make it. You're not going to make it, that's true. You don't have hustle and driving you, you're not going to make it. If you can't sacrifice going over the road some weeks that's, you know, started bad and you need to recuperate some money, you, if you're not willing to go over, over the road a little bit, you're not going to succeed. And that's just life. Um, Really, do not come in here thinking you you could be home every night it's not going to happen some nights you're not going to be able to be home and that's just facts and don't come in here thinking amazon is your way out because amazon be, to be told bro amazon sucks and i'm gonna get into that in a little while amazon sucks bro so don't come in here thinking you're gonna make it over just amazon you got to be able to be versatile with your business like don't come in here thinking you're gonna stick to one specific thing and it's gonna work it's not it doesn't happen like that like it's n it's not that easy don't get me wrong though you can't come to this business and you could you could um you know talk to other people you could network you know you could probably get a contract with with a shipper direct shipper in whatever it's possible you could go that way but man you have to be versatile you cannot stick to one one thing in this game because it's not gonna work right the next thing that i heard in the video is that the game should be sold not told and i 100 percent disagree with that why i disagree with that and i'm talking about this specific business because this is what i am i'm in that should not this game should not be sold unless you're giving people a blueprint of how to get direct shippers and how to make make money um consistently or giving people like a list of people they can call to do work for or anything like that you have something that can be sold because at the end of the day they generate money from that but this game this trucking industry has been the same for years and years and years and it's going to be the same from years to come and what i mean by the same is that the starting process and booking loads it's, it's all the same it's been the same forever and if anything it's easier now because we have the internet we have people that are literally map out how to do everything step by step on the internet but for some reason people are too lazy to do their own research and rather outsource 
either somebody else to build their business or just go buy something um, on how to build your business when it's everywhere and it's laziness and that's laziness is why the trucking game is so in a frenzy right now like it's so bad because people are lazy bro that get into a business that y'all barely learn any personal knowledge about what i mean by personal knowledge you guys don't do your own research y'all pay somebody to get the, to get the knowledge that's out there for free you're not putting the work in yourself and that that causes a high failure rate as well because you're not putting you're not doing your due diligence to learn about a business you're spending thousands of dollars on you're just taking the easy way out right another thing is there's a person out here charging five thousand dollars to teach something that's free bro and i'm not one to talk about somebody else's business and what they got going on but like it's it's why are you charging some people five thousand dollars and i already know because all the content that person is purchased straight amazon relay it's not going to happen amazon is not the same as it was two years ago it's not going to happen don't spend all your money investing in something and you don't know the back end of it you're just hoping it works out like i'm telling you guys like i'm not I, like i know a lot of people want to get in the game because y'all see the videos and whatnot and you thinking like like it's, it's fun it's something you want to do but like do your research don't listen to me don't listen to another creator like there's a lot of bad to this game that you have to look out for yeah everybody make it all sparkly and look good but it's not and another reason uh, in, in a video i watched somebody commented and saying people are actually jumping in the game now and they seeing the rail because before not the people who was posting content they wasn't giving you the rail they were just giving you how much money they was making and telling you can make the same amount of money but now people are actually jumping in the game and learning for themselves and now they seeing the real like it's hard out here right now we're in a day and age where people people can see through see people are seeing through everything and they document their process so if multiple people are documenting a certain thing in the game it got to be true right they've been lied to by multiple people then they get out here and they see like oh it's real it's it's hard like yeah before look at the content two years ago in the boxer game and look at the content now before you wouldn't see no bad about the business why because everybody want to sell something everybody want to get money from you you wouldn't they you don't see the they wasn't posting the bad now people are in the game right now people who are giving their all people who spent their last dollar on this business now they're posting their story their person their journey so now the truth is coming out that it's not as hard as what people made it seem before so now they showing you their story they showing you the real and now people are now the people who said everything is good in the business you can make money now they now they like oh what's going on no it had been the same right the trucking was popping during the pandemic popping go look at the views on trucking videos from now i mean truck videos from then and look at the trucking videos from now people was making a killing off content during the pandemic because everybody's home everybody's getting money but, and now they want to do something with their money. They want to change their life. So now they in tune with different businesses trying to see what they could do to uh, spend their money on to basically change their life. So they, they in tune. Everybody, everybody's pulling multiple thousands of views from people. And and that, I think that really got to a lot of people's head. They see those views. They post on videos. But look at look at the viewers now. It's not the same as before. There's people out here with 40, 50, 60 thousand subscribers that was working through the pandemic um working through the pandemic posting their videos and now look at the, the views they get now it don't match i pull almost the same amount of views as the people that was posting content before getting all the views why because people are starting to understand people are starting to see through people people are starting to know the truth and and that's real that's real and i'm so happy that i started posting content when i did because I don't all the people that just travel to me. This is the real. This is this this here. What I do is real. I don't. I, the people who thought about doing the business and thought seen all the money and never really invested into it. Those people are gone now, right? They don't have that access to access to money like they did in the pandemic. So now it's wearing down. Everybody's not intrigued anymore. And I'm happy I started when I started because those that's the people I want to reach. People who are actually thinking about doing it people who are in the business stuff like that that's what i care about right i don't want nothing from you guys i don't 
pressure you guys into doing nothing. I don't I don't sit here and tell you like you should get in the game. You're gonna make this amount of money a week. You're gonna make this amount of money a month. I don't do that. Why? Because I'll be lying to you. I'll be lying to you to tell you that every month you're gonna hit a, a specific amount of money or you should hit, hit a specific type of money. This market jumps up and down crazy. The ups and downs are crazy in the trucking game. Right, you gotta be prepared for the down. When it's up, when it, everything is good and the rates are good, it's good. But when it's bad, it's bad. Right, and we could blame the brokers, we could bring the shippers, but honestly, what are we blaming them for? It's us taking it. And when I say us, I mean the general trucking comp companies, owner operators, we're taking it. And that's why they feel free to post some crap rates because at the end of the day, somebody is gonna take it. They may have their reasons for taking it. Maybe they want to get home. Maybe they just want money for fuel. Or maybe they have a truck payment or whatever type of payment. And, you know, they got to take some cheap freight to barely make it. You know what I mean? So if you barely making it, I feel like truly if you're barely making it by each month. And, you know, you barely surviving on paying your truck note or whatnot. I don't honestly believe now isn't time for isn't the time for you. Because at one point barely making it for so long it's going to put you in a hole and you're going to be forced to to get out of it so maybe today is not your time and i always tell people if you don't have the money or anything it's, it's just not your time right now to be really profitable in this business is to really own your truck outright or own i mean finance a truck with a low payment right you got to cut out the old old all types of overhead right now to truly be successful and that's the truth when you have less stress about worrying about a pay, like five different payments you could sleep at night because other end day it's easier to make a thousand dollars than it is to make five thousand dollars in a short amount of time and that's real people got to understand that it's it's not it's no longer the rates are no longer at where you could successfully have a have a rental or whatever it, it it's not that game no more i'm sorry to tell you guys it's the rental game unless you could get a decent rental rate because i spoke on the phone with somebody who got an actually decent route to uh, rental rate in insurance so it's possible if you get a good number it's possible but don't be out here spending fifteen hundred dollars a week on rental plus miles you're hurting yourself you're not hurting nobody but yourself and then that ends to hurting the market because you have to pull some type of freight just to make it um just to make it buy and it puts the market down for everybody else so that's what people mean by stop taking taking cheap freight because at the end of the day it's us it's our fault we take it if you keep taking it why why would a company pay a thousand dollars for a load if multiple people taking it for four hundred dollars that's business it's business at the end of the day i wouldn't i'll pay you four hundred dollars all day if you're going to take it why well, i'm gonna give it a thousand when that's i'm saving six hundred dollars like let's be honest here so, like I said, you don't have to listen to anything I said. You can take everything I said with a grain of salt. But I'm just being totally honest with you guys. Like, people people are voicing their opinions now. Right? It's no longer, it's no longer getting to, and I said this was going to come sooner or later. People are going to start seeing through people. I told y'all, I, I said it. People are going to start seeing through a lot of creators and seeing what it is. Right? Because I said before, you guys have been watching me for a long time. I said before, those creators, most of the creators you see, talking about they make a lot of money, they have other sources of income. They have multiple sources of income. So they could do whatever. If trucking is not hitting right now, they could do something else to pull money to their business and they could keep going. A lot of people coming out here, this is your only thing. This is your bread and butter. You won't, You lose this, you lose everything. Right? And a lot of people don't care. They just gonna tell you what you want to hear to buy into whatever they selling, and and they just gonna make money, and you just gonna be in a in a hole. And that's what this game came to. Everybody in this game is greedy. Everybody in this game want to make a quick buck off each other. We want to make money off of each other, but we can't get together to get the brokers on board with paying us more by not holding a cheap freight. Like this, this a trucking industry is a joke. It's a joke at this point. Simple as that. It's a joke. We rather charge each other thousands of dollars rather than charge the broker. Come together and charge the broker. Like it, it's a joke at this point. So, like I said, if you want to get in this game, 
um you could dm me on instagram i help you answer your questions i don't charge anything i get on the phone i get on instagram my text i email you guys for completely free i don't want nothing from you guys and and that's real i could care less about making a dollar right now like it is what it is like i've been in the position where i didn't have no money to to start this business like i've been in the position where i really wanted to do this and i didn't know how i was going to do it I've been in a position while watching multiple YouTube videos on how to get into this and and just you know being inspired by people I watch. But like I said, man, it's it's cutthroat out here. Yeah, this is my little vent rent rent video. This is my little rant video for you guys. If you believe me, you believe me. If you have a different opinion, you state it down below. Let me know. I'm all ears. I don't like I said, this is my personal opinion. You could feel a different way about what I'm saying, but let me know in the comments below. I always read, I always comment back. Let me know, but if you're new, like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you thought about the video, and I'm out.